Greetings Saberland. We're here to do a short overview of the Pico Crumble. Pico Crumble has been around for about a year but it's finally available to us in the US and I figured I'd do a quick demo of this to show how uh, it functions and uh, how to change the color profiles on the Saber itself. So a couple different things in regards to uh, this board, this board has no SD card on it, so all of the configurations and the fonts are embedded on the card. So there really is no reason to get inside unless uh, you're looking to uh, use the uh, Rice Edge uh, to do configurations. But with this, with this board, I think most of the time uh, this board is more of a... Uh, an entry level and for uh, the color profiles you have there really isn't much that needs to be configured so let's just first look at this we'll take the uh, SD or the uh, cookie out and uh, this is our Electrum battle uh, issue or battalion issue and this actually really was uh, made for this hilt was designed for one button operation uh, really for uh, boards like the Pico Crumble or the Nano Biscotti now, as you see, when I pulled the kill key out, the uh, illuminated button did not uh, come on. Uh, that's because in order to uh, wake the board up and even to get the 3.3 volt pad activated, on uh, which this is uh, connected to, you need to press the button, and there it's activated now. So. Now we're ready to start. Now there's only one font on here, uh, and it's a little bit of a, a truncated font as far as you don't have a, a ton of different clashes and swings, but it still sounds really good. This is the uh, the dark meat. There's two different boards. You can use dark meat or light meat. I like the dark meat because I just think it's uh, a little bit deeper in regards to the bass frequencies. So there it is. This is. Um, now there is flash on clash. And as you saw, it's a green blade there. I have this wired to a Cree RGB, which means we can get uh, the different profiles. Uh, this the thing about the Pico Crumble that a lot of people are going to like is. Uh, and really this is why it was designed, is to give the color uh, changing or color profiles uh, in a uh, entry level board. Now it's a little different as far as accessing the color profiles. Let me show you how you do this. If you're going to be changing the color profiles, meaning changing it to one of the other six color profiles on here, I would advise you to either buy or to uh, to build it with a, a recharge port because it's going to be much easier. So we put the key kill, it, kill key in. Now we're going to remove the kill key and then as we remove the kill key we hold the button down and we hold it down for about five seconds and that's going to enter into the menu where you can change the colors. So let's hold that down we got to wait about five seconds and you're going to hear three beeps. There we go. And there is the green. <clears throat> so, as I said, uh, this is an RGB, so there is your uh, sky blue. There is your uh, more royal blue. There is your purple. There is your red. And then there is your uh, amber, and then we're back to our green. I'm going to go forward to the uh, sky blue here. And so if we want that, then we hold it, and there we go. It is ready to go. So now it's back in uh, deep sleep mode here. So we'll wake it up. There we go. And it'll be blue. All of them have, all of the profiles have flash on clash. And so that is just a simple overview of how you operate and change the color profiles 
on the Pico Crumble. Another great offering by Plector Labs. Uh, now available at the Custom Saber Shop and should be great for people that are looking for uh, a more of an entry level uh, range bore but also you can get uh, color changing and uh, you still even get things like uh, an illuminated uh, AV switch and, and, and good sound so that's the Pico Crumble enjoy